need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. In this lesson, we will discuss formatting taskbars within the Gantt Chart view. To do this, select the Format tab of the Gantt Chart Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. To change the appearance of a bar graph for a selected task within the Gantt Chart view, then click the Format button in the Bar Styles button group and select the Bar command from the drop-down menu that appears. In the Format Bar dialog box that appears, you can click the Bar Shape tab to view the Start, Middle, and End sections of the bar. You can use the drop-down arrows that appear in the Start and End sections to choose your preferred shape, type, and color for those ends of the bar. In the Middle section, you use the Shape, pattern, and color drop-downs to set the appearance of the middle of the bar. You can then see a sample at the bottom. You can then click the Bar Text tab to set the text that should appear next to the lines of the bar within the graph. On this tab, you can use the drop-down that appears when you click into the area to the right of the desired side of the bar listed to choose the text that you want to display on that side of the taskbar within the Gantt chart. Now once you've made your selections in this dialog box, you can then click the OK button to apply the bar formatting to your selected task. You can change the appearance of different types of taskbars within a Gantt chart by creating a new bar style. To do this, click the Format button within the Bar Styles button group and then select the Bar Styles command from the Buttons drop-down menu. In the Bar Styles dialog box that appears, select a Bar Style type to edit from the listing shown. For the selected type of taskbar, use the choices shown in the Text and Bars tabs shown at the bottom of the dialog box to set the appearance of the taskbar and its accompanying label in the Gantt chart. If desired, you can use the Show for Tasks column to select the type of tasks to which this style should be applied. You can use the Row column to choose at which row you want this style to begin being applied. You can use the Start and Finish columns to choose when this style should start and end being applied across the columns in your chart. You can repeat this process for other selected types of taskbars as desired. Now once you've set your new taskbar styles, click the OK button to apply them. The next few checkboxes that are shown in the Bar Styles button group on the Format tab of the Gantt Chart Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon allow you to apply special formatting to the selected types of taskbars shown. You can check the Critical Task checkbox to display critical tasks in red. A task is considered a critical task if it must be completed on time for the project to be completed on schedule. You can check the Slack checkbox to draw slack lines in the taskbars. A slack line is a line that shows how much time a task can go past its finish date before it affects the scheduling of another task within the project. You can also check the checkbox for late tasks to display late tasks in black. Late tasks are calculated by determining how much of the task should be done by the status date. If you have saved a baseline for your project, you can compare how your project is performing 
by comparing the tasks to the baseline that you saved. To show your baseline taskbars next to the existing project taskbars, simply click the Baseline drop-down button that appears in the Bar Styles button group, and then select the desired baseline to display from the drop-down menu that appears. The baseline task durations will be displayed next to the current project file's taskbars for comparison purposes. You can repeat this process to display a different selected baseline's taskbars or to toggle the display of the selected baseline's taskbars back off when you're finished. You can view the amount of slippage within the tasks in your project file when compared to a selected baseline by clicking the Slippage button and then choosing a desired baseline from the drop-down menu that appears. This will show task slippage lines within the Gantt chart where tasks have gone over the amount of time scheduled in the baseline. You can repeat the process to toggle the display of the slippage lines back off when you're finished. You can apply a preset Gantt chart style by clicking on a style shown in the Gantt chart styles button group. If you click the more button in the lower right corner of the scroll bar within the button group, you will see all of the Gantt chart styles shown in two categories, scheduling styles and presentation styles. You can click the desired chart style to apply all of the selected elements of that chart style to your Gantt chart. Note that the scheduling styles simply differentiate the color between the manually scheduled and auto scheduled tasks with a different color, while the presentation styles show all tasks in the same color regardless of the method used for scheduling. Finally, you can use the checkboxes that appear in the Show Hide button group to toggle the display of the listed task elements on and off within the Gantt chart. The elements that you can show or hide include outline numbering, project summary tasks, and general summary tasks. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.